Good people of YouTube, my name is Panner and welcome back for some more Dark Souls. This time we are doing something different. I'm doing my first ever Soul Level 1 challenge. Now what does this mean? It means that we won't be leveling up and we must start with the Pyromancer class because it's the only one that starts at level 1 I believe. So we won't be putting any points into our stats, we won't be increasing our health, or endurance, or strength, dexterity, whatever. We'll be staying at level 1. And that's the basis of the Soul Level 1 challenge. Beat the game at level 1. Now any other rules? I'm not going to use any other rules, I'll do whatever it takes to beat the game. Um, that includes using pretty much every item that I can, using every summon that I can if I need to, might not be necessary. Um, as for human players, well, I doubt I can summon any human players anyway, unless they're they're uh, doing a soul level one challenge themselves. Okay, let's start this by creating a character. Now. I did a little research on what it takes to do an SL1 challenge. I know a couple of things, but I'll be going into this just with my regular knowledge of Dark Souls. Now let's see, let's call this guy Spanner SL1. Can be male. Okay, so we'll be starting as. You can see the levels on the left side there as a Pyromancer, level 1. Now the problem with this, with the SL1 challenge isn't, um, isn't just the stats that we have, since we won't be, won't be that powerful, but also the equipment we can use, since it, uh, a lot of equipment has very high restrictions in stats, so there's that, uh, let me see, should I just use the master key, I don't think I'll use any of the other ones, I usually just start with the master key anyway, uh, this doesn't matter, let's get some Purple hair, why not? Okay, there's our character. Let's get this show on the road. No need for cutscenes. If you want a proper walkthrough, I would recommend my previous playthrough of the game. Here we are. So I'm using a couple of tex texture mods, uh, basically the same, uh, the same set that I used in the my, in my previous playthrough. Uh, but I, I removed a couple of them since um, this game is not very well optimized for PC. So I took out some of them that uh, caused some nasty frame drops. In certain locations, although it still happens sometimes, maybe the maybe because of the higher resolution UI or something like that. I don't know. All right. So, a couple of things we are going to use. Don't mind the big nasty creature. A couple of things we're going to use. We are going to upgrade our weapons. And we're going to use elemental weapons. Now, I don't generally use elemental weapons because they don't scale off stats, but that's exactly the point for this. Since our stats are going to be so low, they are going to do a lot more damage. Ow. We're going to do a lot more damage um, 
they're going to be some of our most damaging weapons. And I'm thinking of also using some pyromancy. Since pyromancy we pyromancy scales mostly off the pyromancy glove. So all we need to do is upgrade that. And those two things will be our um, our main sources of damage. Yeah, 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 just give me my stuff. Open this. By the way, if I suddenly start walking for no reason, my controller is a bit weird lately. Well, sometimes it happens. When I press forwards, I walk instead of run. When I push the thumbstick all the way up. Not really sure why this happens or not, but it's usually fine. It won't be a problem. Pyromancy flame. Uh, there, don't I start with a spell? Oh yeah, I do. There's, there's fireball right there. Uh, where? Wasn't there? A... Ah, there it is. Okay, that's where I see my slots in the equipped spell. I was looking in the wrong screen. Uh, there's a guy in there, but I don't think there's anything else, so it doesn't really matter. Okay. Let's do this! Another problem with the with this challenge is that sometimes I'll have to use uh, some different tactics that I'm not used to. Okay, big guy down. Let's get out of here. That means I'll probably have to dodge a lot more since we can hardly take any damage and. Not gonna lie, I am a bit rusty at dodging. I only really dodged a lot with one of my... Well, not one of my... with my Dex character. There's a thing... somewhere. Where is it? Did I... Did I miss it? Am I blind? Come on. Ah, here we go. rests and we can't level up 
Alright. Let's loot this place. Uh, let's see, what do I want? There's some stuff over here. Some fire bombs. Uh, what else? Hello there. I can talk to this guy, but I don't think I need his stuff. That's fine. Okay. Just so he's ready to sell us stuff if we need to. Now we no, we can go up still. Get this item. Now another problem we might run into is losing souls, because um, but we can't level and at this point we can't, we can't really do anything with them, unless buy some stuff. Morning star and some homeward bones, can I use the morning star? I can. Okay, this will be useful because it has bleed damage. And it deals overall more damage than the hand axe. Another thing that I read is that we should have... We should upgrade our equipment before going to an Orlando. Because once there we can't turn back. So we gotta make sure we have everything that we can upgrade upgraded. Damn skeletons. Out of my way. I have everything? I think I do. We could go to the new Londo ruins, get an S talk, but I don't think we can use it. Not with not with nine dexterity. We could also go there and get the Firekeeper Soul to upgrade our Estus, but I think we're fine. Let's make our way to the undead burg. We gotta get a better shield. This one doesn't block all the damage. Now, should be careful with the fire bombs. Drop any equipment, that's fine. I 
we should be fine for the first part of the game at least at least until we reach uh, Quilag perhaps since I don't I usually don't start putting vi points into vitality until well maybe a, a bit later but by by that point I usually have um, some better stats. Go down here. Get every single item we can get our hands on. Another soul. of them here and some rubbish I don't need to kill them I'll kill them anyway just wait for all of them to climb come on oh they're just down there chilling okay Totally fine. Oh. Okay, this guy made it. Well done. Slowly. What the hell? Okay, the dragon was acting a little bit weird then. And I was going slowly because I learned... Uh, one time I learned the hard way that you can't just sprint before the dragon shows up, otherwise the dragon will land on top of you and you die. a shield here. A wooden shield. There's also death apparently. Can't even look at my stats. Okay, this one blocks 93% physical damage, which is a lot better than we had. Get rid of this sniper. Ah, damn it. Okay, no. 
kick this guy and just hit him. There we go. Okay, one thing we can do with our unused souls is buy things. Okay, things that are useful. Well, let's take a look at the weapons. We could use the dagger, the short swords. Can't use the scimitar. Oh no, we can't. Oh, they doesn't tell, doesn't say if I can use the weapon or not. I have to pay more attention to the stats. So we can't use the scimitar. Can't use the short swords. Can't use the rapier. I can use the hand axe because it's the weapon I'm currently using. I think I can use the club. Oh, I think someone said the reinforced club was pretty good. Can't use the spear, can't use a short bow, so I can't even get the drake swords to have an easier early game. But the shield isn't that great. Heater shield. Now this one will block all the damage. 55 stability level. Okay, I think I'll get this reinforced club. 97 damage. Seems really good. And has bleed. Okay. Let's see. So it's way better than the Morning Star. Last your ability though. And this one I didn't mean to unequip it. Fifty two stability. Okay, let's try. This is armor. Let's try heater shields. 55 stability, 100% damage reduction. Can I use this? Or will it be too heavy? I don't think I've ever used chainmail before. How is chain armor less durable than a cloth robe? Yeah, I'm a bit heavier. Well, I can't even fast roll with this. Yeah, the reinforced club, the two extra weight is ruining things a little bit. Now we can. Okay, I guess we're not using chainmail. Let's get, um, let's get the bottomless box. Just because I like to keep an organized inventory. When I when I can. Okay, this is a lot better. I should try and dodge more often. Get some practice. Throwing knives, I guess I can equip that. Uh, 
Let's see, we can jump there. And this should get us a crossbow. Which I think we can use. Can I use a crossbow? I can. Although I'm not going to yet. We have our pyromancy and we have our melee weapon. That should be fine for now. <laughs> 